Hey, what's going on guys? Perspective here, and this CPU cooler is dirty as f Now the motherboard in question is a MSI Z170. The CPU installed in this motherboard is an i7-6700K. This came from Kincaid99. Uh, if you remember my video building the Corsair Carbide Air 740. Onto the topic at hand, we are gonna clean this sucker up. And uh, he said that the motherboard no longer worked anymore, but we're gonna double check and make sure yeah, that's the case. But uh, yeah, let's get to it guys. Step 1. Remove the cooler. The cooler pins have arrows that indicate the direction in which they unlock. Step 2. Remove and clean the CPU. You do this by using a cloth and isopropyl alcohol. Once finished, lock it back into the socket. Step 3. Detach the CPU fan from the heatsink. It's held together by clips located at the bottom of the heatsink near each mounting pin. Step 4. Clean the heatsink. First remove the dust with a brush or dry cloth. Then shoot it with compressed air and then finish it off with a cloth and alcohol. And if you're wondering why I haven't dunked the heatsink in water, it's because dust is much harder to clean when it's wet. Plus we don't have to wait for it to dry before mounting it back onto the motherboard. Step 5. Clean the CPU fan. Use a brush and compressed air for this. Use a cloth and alcohol to carefully wipe the blades and other parts of its enclosure. Step 6. Attach the clean CPU fan to the heatsink. Do this by reattaching the clips you detached earlier. Step 7. Mount your CPU cooler to the motherboard. Do this by reapplying thermal paste first, then mounting the cooler using the mounting pins. Once you've completed Step 7, congratulations! You've cleaned your LGA 115X stock Intel cooler. Now let's see if this dude's motherboard even works. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe and stay tuned because I will see you in the next video. Peace.